Rodriguez last time out was against the Yankees and of course uh, again in that ball game five and a third no decision for Erod gave up five hits and three earned runs did have seven strikeouts the start previous to that was only four and two thirds against the Houston Astros down in Houston gave up six earned runs so first base run of the ball game brings up Alex Bregman looking to go four straight change ups cut on and miss to put him away. You don't see that every day. No, you don't. And Bregman looked like he hadn't seen it every day either. <laughs> yeah. Kind of looking came out to Erod after that last one. Was a perfect change, a perfect location. And you can see again how off balance Bregman was. And he stands out there like, okay, four in a row. Alvarez, 299, eight home runs. He's driven in 31. Correa, the base runner. Big swing popped up on the infield. Devers has to make a little change there, almost into the base runner Correa, but he puts it away for out number three, and the Red Sox are coming up, no score. Zach Greinke is on the mound for the Houston Astros. How about his last four starts? 2.03 ERA, a .077 as far as whips are concerned. Doing a very good job. Eight plus innings in three of those four starts. Zach hasn't faced the Red Sox very often. In fact, first time in an Astros uniform. Swing and a miss. The bat goes flying as Greinke picks up a strikeout of Kike Hernandez for the first out. Here's Alex Verdugo missed the first couple of games of this series with a strained back. A little tapping ground ball towards Correa in the shift. Carlos makes the play. Plenty of time to get Verdugo and there's two outs. Two two. Swing and a miss. Greinke with a couple of strikeouts in the first inning only had three strikeouts in his complete game against the Blue Jays scoreless first. Well, here's the guy that now leads the American League in batting, Yuli Gurriel, coming in at 335. He passed Vladimir Guerrero Jr. last night. Here it comes. Sends that one down the right field line, giving it a look is the right fielder, Hunter Restro, and that is off the foul pole for a home run. Pesky pole power for La Pina. Do it, TK. That's a lot of happy guys in the dugout knowing that's a birthday gift courtesy of Fenway Park one day late. <laughs> are the fans booing Yuli or are they booing the pesky pole? The friendly confines on the road have been anywhere the Astros have been, but right now, Yuli taking advantage of the circumstances, hitting it off the pesky pole. Oh, that's going to be rich on StatCast. Estimated 315 feet, and I feel like that is too much. Vasquez batting 249 on the year. Astros have the infield back. They'll concede a run to try and turn two here. He does go to right field for a base hit, and that'll tie up the ball game. So Devers in the score. That's three consecutive hits off of Zach Greinke. So Enrique Hernandez will be up with the bases loaded. All loaded up, runners go, 3-2 pitch. And it is outside, he walked him, and a run is in. On a Renfro will score, and the Red Sox lead it 2-1. Jordan hits one to deep center field, back goes Hernandez, he will watch it bounce off the fence, and stays, rattles around out there. One run scores, here comes Bregman trying to score, he'll cross the plate, two RBI double for Jordan Alvarez and the Astros regain the lead it's three to two. J.D. Martinez to lead it off in the bottom of the third three two Astros. He's going to hit a high fly ball center field deep. Straws back he's already looking and that ball's gone. Home run. Well it has been a while and J.D. touches them all to tie the game three three. His 13th of the season. Oh is that good to see. With the game tied here's Vasquez. Royo on deck in the two one. Socked into center field, down for a base hit. Sander Bogarts comes marching home, and the Red Sox have the lead against the Astros for three. Vasquez off to a great start tonight. Outside, ball four. Astros will load up the bases with Yuli Gurriel due up. And Alex Cora, as soon as that pitch was called a ball, jumped out of the dugout. Way outside, ball four, game tied, bases loaded walk to Yuli Gurriel. Both teams have a bases loaded walk for an RBI tonight. As Straw crosses the plate, it's four to four. That ball into center field, well struck, all the way back, Hernandez near the wall, it's off the wall. One run scores. Around comes Alvarez, he'll score. Yuli Gurriel behind him, he'll score. Kyle Tucker to third, clears the bases with a triple. It's 7-4 Astros.
Loop that one into right field for a base hit. Devers rounding. He's heading for third. And Vasquez has another single to right field. He's three for three. Yeah, two to right field tonight, one to center field. Two one. Swing a high fly ball. Deep left center. Back it goes and gone. Three run shot for Arroyo. He jumped all over and he's tied the ball game. Let's get another look. Yes, a spinner that stayed on the inside corner and he just yanks it out of the ballpark a long way out. Altuve golfs one deep to left field all the way back towards a monster good Jose Altuve home run number 11 gives the Astros an eight to seven lead. How does he do that Four. he took that off the ground blubber brings up J.D. Martinez who blasted that home run in the third high pop not deep Tucker coming in KK back to tag. And he drops it. And here comes the run. He is safely in, and the Red Sox have tied the game on a drop by Tucker. Popped up into center. Correa out. And staggers and drops it. Martinez had to wait. Falcons into second. And they're going to get the out. On the infield fly, is that what they're calling here? Take another look. Right up here now, a switch. Watch the umpire. Does he call infield fly? We can't see him right there, but he does. He's pointing to Devis yes. and saying, You're right. And the 0 1. And it's inside, and it hit him. It hit him, and that's going to force him to go ahead run. Oh, now I've seen everything. Payoff pitch runners go and he walked him and here comes another run that one ripped toward the wall in left field and slams into the monster one run in. here comes Vasquez in down to second is Dahlbeck and the Red Sox give themselves some big time breathing room right before the season he only fouls one off his foot. I think they called him out. I think they said that ball was in play. That's going to end up being a double play. What? The umpire pointed towards fair territory. Home plate umpire. Oh, Jordan, who went down to second, thought there was a dead ball, as did we. We thought that was fouled off of Yuli at the plate. But Sean Barber just tossed Dusty Baker. He claims the ball was in fair territory. Red Sox are on top 12 8. Into center field, closing on it. Hernandez and a diving catch. Sort of been the one thing it's been lacking, right? To this point, an outfielder making a diving catch. That's it. Here comes the 0 2. Swing fly ball, center field. It's deep. Backing up Hernandez, room to make it. He's got it. And the Red Sox win it 12 8.